This is News Channel 8 at 5.30 on your side. Two more Floridians will be spending time in federal prison for their involvement in storming the Capitol nearly three years ago. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Florida is still the state with the most January 6th defendants. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau is in studio with the details. Walt. Jen and Josh, the married couple in this case is one of five Florida husband and wife defendant duos arrested together for storming the Capitol. Their last name will sound familiar, but there's no relation to this reporter. Investigators say about five minutes after entering the Capitol building on January 6, 2021, Jamie and Jennifer Buteau of Ocala were at the front of the crowd. Mr. Buteau was photographed picking up a chair, and moments later, video shows him throwing it at a police officer who was hit in the arm after it ricocheted off a wall. His wife spit on police, according to investigators, after the couple was sprayed with chemicals. The Buteaus are now two of 559 January 6 defendants to plead guilty. He was sentenced to 22 months in prison for assaulting an officer. His wife got 90 days on a misdemeanor count of demonstrating in the Capitol building. We are now seven weeks from the three-year mark since the riot. According to John Lewis from the George Washington University program on extremism, the divide that spurred the melee is no better now. The, the narratives, the conspiracies, the grievances that drew this crowd, this violent crowd, even the ones from Florida to January 6th to the U.S. Capitol, has not gone away. The, the, the threat has, in fact, in the views of many extremism experts, has gotten worse. The Buteaus are among 105 Florida residents charged so far in connection with January 6th. 36 are from the Bay Area. 37 Floridians have pleaded guilty. 13 have been convicted at trial. This is video of a Bay Area man the feds are still looking for. Investigators say 24-year-old Jonathan Pollock of Lakeland assaulted officers during the riot. The FBI is offering a $30,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of Pollock. Broadway actor Jamie Beeks of Orlando is one of the few defendants in the entire country acquitted of charges related to January 6th. About 1,200 people have been charged so far. That's a big number, 1,200 yeah. charged so far. So did they give us any updates on how many could be involved? Yeah, so that's sort of a, a, that number is still fluid. The estimate is still more than 2,000, and law enforcement continues looking for suspects like Pollock. But the rate of arrests has slowed down a lot recently, so there could be a lot of others out there. But as far as how many more will get caught, we'll be tracking it. But what a job to look through all that yeah. video and figure it out piece Absolutely. by piece. All right, yeah. thanks so much, Walt. If you have uh, something you want Walt to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline. That number is 1-800-338-0808. We heard it.